Hello there. This module is going to get into some of the intricities of how research gets funded and how articles get published. In other courses and in some parts of this course, you've had exposure to methodology and theory and research in addiction. Uh, you've also learned about the growth of the field and the different opportunities available for funding. But one thing that they don't teach you in school is how you prepare an application or a journal article in a way that appeals to peer reviewers and fits into the process that is highly competitive and highly selective that leads to either a publication or a funded grant application. So you can follow the instructions that are given in the instructions to authors, and you can follow the instructions for a pre-doctoral or a post-doctoral grant, but you're still not necessarily going to get that grant because of the fact that uh, journals can't accept all articles and funders can't fund all applications. So your application not only has to stand out as being above average, but it also has to appeal to an audience of your peers. And that's very important because a lot of times people write to the instructions, but they're not writing to the audience that's looking at them critically. And the best way to learn how to write for that audience is to experience the process of being a peer reviewer yourself on a journal article that's been submitted and needs to be reviewed, or by sitting on a review committee that is in the process of understanding a bunch of applications in order to select the best ones. So what I'd like to do in this module is to bring you into the inside of that process. And what we're gonna do first is get you to review some journal articles applying standard criteria and using your own knowledge of research up until this point, but to bring you through the process of critically evaluating somebody else's research in a journal article. That's very helpful. Once we've gone through that process, I want you also to critically evaluate a grant proposal and to look at the instructions and the criteria, and then to act as a peer reviewer and describe how it feels when you're evaluating somebody else's proposal in the context of a group process that requires that you offer input, but you also negotiate with other reviewers in order to select the best applications. So all of that is going to be covered and there's no textbook written to tell you how to do it.